now you can go and view movies and browse movies on your set-top box. So you don't have to go to your computer to add movies to your queue. You can directly on this device browse genres of movies. Now these movies are coming are recommendations from the Netflix service. So they're coming directly from a Netflix server. So whatever you see here is recommended by, by Netflix for my viewing habits, so based on what I like. Uh, as you can see, this is... <laughs> That's what you like, huh? That's what I like. That's what Netflix thinks I like. <laughs> we are in Las Vegas, so... I might confuse them. So, as you can see, performance is, is pretty good. Uh, and here's the, here's the, the punchline, is everything you see here is HTML5. All the UI, all the interactions, and all the logic that controls the user interface is implemented in HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. Uh, this is quite a breakthrough, especially given that it's running on a typical set-top box hardware. This is a Sigma Designs 8654. It's a MIPS architecture board running at about 500 megahertz CPU speed. And the reason why HTML, which is a desktop technology traditionally, can run on a set-top box with constraints uh, is that this board accelerates some key graphics operations. For instance, the drawing of the bitmaps, scaling, is all done via a, an acceleration layer called Direct FB. And because we're using, because Qt and the WebKit component in Qt talks directly to the hardware acceleration on this board, you get very little performance overhead of using HTML to build this UI. The other performance optimization that enables this UI is uh, how, the H how the JavaScript is created. So uh, there are many different ways to build a UI like this, even in HTML and JavaScript. Uh, there is only a couple of ways to build it in a way that it works well.